my channel if you are new to this channel please do well to subscribe to my channel like this video and turn on the notification bell there's a video i want to show you and it's very disturbing and before i will play that i want you to i, want, I will read some things to you because p2p was denied access in ghana yes p2p went to ghana to for an event with other uh, pan-african leaders and they were denied as, uh, access the ghana min, uh, pre, uh, president use military to stop them to steal the venue of that event now from what i'm going to post on the screen now you are going to read it now let me read it to you breaking news p2b was scheduled to attend an event in ghana along with some pan-african Af africanists from kenya south africa and zimbabwe however according to reports from people attending the event the ghana military has barricaded the venue and it's telling everyone to go home because the event has been cancelled. This is still a developing story. But if the event is prevented from taking place, then this will be a very long week. We no go green for anybody. Now, the person because the president had to come back, that democracy watch man, had to come back to give updates on what is happening. Say, this is... Uh, Kufa Ado has, this is what Kufa Ado has drawn Tongana into. How can you use the military to prevent P2B from speaking at an event in Ghana? You have a few months to leave office and you want to destroy the country before you leave. Now I'm going to play the video so that you will hear what uh, some Ghanaians, youth in Ghana, especially uh, Students' union leaders that want to get to attend the venue, I mean the event, what they were saying. So before we play that video, I want you to take your time, uh, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and make sure you share it so that others will watch this video as well to see what is happening, how P2B was prevented from speaking in an event. I'm going to play it too. You're going to watch that video here right now. We will be coming to the Independence Square of Ghana on a very sensitive day like the 7th of January to address the youth of this country. A young man by Professor Lumumba coming to Ghana. Most especially Julius Malima coming to Ghana. Dr. Arikana coming to Ghana. I think we, these are the improvements of Africa. Our Ghanaian improvement is gone. But these are the improvements of other countries. Today they are in here to speak to the youth. We get here and we realize that the program is cancelled. We were invited as student leaders of this council. All mother unions of this student uh, of Ghana here were invited. The University Student Association are invited. Member institutions are invited. The National Union of Ghana Students is invited. People have moved from Nabrango. People have moved from our student leaders to listen to these great people. We get here and we are told that the program is cancelled. Why? What are they going back home to speak about Africa? I know the place to move on, the mobile is going to stay from India. We will listen to the mobile. I am sad. I don't know what is the reason behind. But we, we are sad. We are bitter. We are pain. It is very sad. What cue should Africa, the African youth take from this? You see, I don't know. Uh, the important thing is that I would have been able to answer this question properly if the forces behind the cancellation of this program was known. I don't know. But I am sad. I don't know the convention that is meant to ignite the voice of Africa. What we are interested as student leaders is that it's the people on the flyer. Some people are here who want to listen to Stone Boy. I am here as a young student leader to listen to the powerful speakers of Africa. Of course. Let me repeat this again. Ghana and Koma is gone. But as young student leaders, we know some improvements in different countries. Right. Lumumba is a clear example. Julius Malima is a clear example. Yeah. Stop the program. Why? Who is that behind the stopping of this program? Mm. So many people are asking, why would the government use military to steal the venue for that event, preventing thousands of youth that come from different parts of Ghana to listen to the Pan-Africanists? Why would the government, what was the intention of Ghanaian government to stop that event? What was their agenda? What did they have in mind? So I don't have nothing to say here. You have listened to this young man. You have read. You saw, you have, you saw what I posted on the screen. 
Now, if left for you, what do you think? Especially in Nigeria, P2B, this for people are saying that that event was stopped because of P2B. That's what people are saying. So, do you believe that? People say, was specific. some people are on social media, you are specific. They say that event was stopped because of P2B from Nigeria. If you look at the, the list on the screen, if you look at the uh, artwork of that event, you see people from different countries. You are seeing uh, uh, people, someone from uh, Kenya, you are seeing someone from South Africa as well. So people co came from different places and people did from Nigeria. Then you stopped them. People are saying that that event was primarily stopped because of people did from Ghana, uh, from Nigeria. What do you think of this? Go to the comment section, drop your comment. Don't forget to share this video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Bye.